gorillas in the boss dog, planet of the apes. There he is, the man of the hour. What's up, Jacob? Yes. Jackie, Friend Center, Clay, Peachy, Jeff. Data Crew, Warm Sue. What's up, Bunsen Bean? The revolution will be televised. The pollution from the ocean Now with devotion Push peace and keep it in motion Pin plugs Black beetle pins SD cheese Gather around Yeah, I need your focus What's up, John? I'm very excited for my play face like the world is so It's alright It's like Wonderland. Rogue Cliff, Silva Zuna. So welcome in everybody to this special Sunday stream. Thank y'all for coming. Jacob and I are very happy to have you here. We're excited you could join us. This is very impromptu. I told Jacob because of the nature in which this pen came about that when he, when I got it, when I got it, I was gonna do a special stream just for it because it deserves its own stream, I think. It was kind of the first pen I think that I really had a large say and input in and, and actually um, helped the maker come up with the idea. Really, I don't think that Jacob would, would uh, deny that or argue that but um the story in which is what i'll get to on this stream and he'll share his perspective on the chat room side and i'll share mine here and then whatever he says in the chat room i'll try to convey here so that you understand that in the youtube afterwards so long time ago back when the pin pirate was kind of just getting going um flare frenzy had just almost began i had just began really and Jacob had approached me in a direct message and wanted to know my opinion because he had heard around from many other people that I was the person he needed to talk to about hard enamel and that I would have some kind of perspective that he needed on his Batman villain series and whether or not that series needed to have a harder soft enamel variants or whatever. And we got to talking about it, and he decided on hard enamel, and I gave him the perspective in that my personal feel on soft versus hard is many soft enamel pins that aren't done right and are done in general feel as if they're carnival prizes won at a shoot the target game or a basketball hoop game, or they feel cheap and like a dime a dozen. They feel like they were manufactured at a at a large quantity and less quality and so that's why I prefer hard because hard for me feels classy, collectible, sexy, it's, it's nice, it really is elegant and uh, it works well in any kind of environmental wear or fashionability, fashionability um, is what I'm going to say. So anyway, oh this is Plastic Beach. Um, with for the gorillas. So anyway, the music choices that is. So through that conversation, he and I touched on other things. Eventually, he he took time out of his holiday between school and made the pin pirate logo which you all know very well and sent me that and we got to chat more and then he got to, to asking me about variants and asking me if he should reissue his death of the family joker in a hard enamel and i told him that 
That's an interesting idea, and I told we had a perspective chat about how when you release a pin, if you're looking at to, for it to be limited and collectible, then you need to consider what you're going to do with its mold and its variants in the future. I.e., the first run was a hundred, right? So let's say you run your first pin as a collectible limited pin is a hundred. The second variant will only be fifty. Then the third variant will only be twenty-five. Then the variant after that can only be limited in even still of its other colors. Because see, when you make a mold for a pin, you then have that mold. And generally you have a time frame in which you are required to reuse that mold. And if you reissue that mold, then you don't have to repay to have the mold made. They won't destroy it. They'll keep it. So especially for something like a logo pin or a frequently used variant pin, you can remake things at, at a time and only get certain numbers of like, for example... You made, let's say he made the Death of the Joker pin in hard enamel, and it was only 50. Then he made one in hard enamel with glow, or soft enamel with glow, 25 each of those. That's another 50, but that's 25 of glow and 25 of glitter. You see what I'm saying? And then the ones after that would be even more limited. So let's say he gets another 50, and they're all 10 different, like, other kinds of variants, like a murdered out versions or whatever. You know, all gold, all black, all nickel, all purple glitter, all green glitter, all whatever, you know? The, the possibilities are endless with your variants. You never know what's, what's gonna catch someone's eye. So anyway, through that, talking about that, I told him that when you start adding embellishments is when the variant prices go up for other variants. So let's say you do that, and the first one, the best example is to use is Justin Snot Rocket Cat's Gizmo Duck. First version, soft enamel, boom, boom. Second version, soft enamel, glitter, and glow. Boom. That just, boom. He double whammy his second variant of that. Then the third one has now hard, been hard enamel. If you have all three of those pens, bravo to you, because that's a beautiful collection. Uh, that increases all three of the values of all three of them. So if you have now Jacob's first Death of the Family Joker, and now the second one, both of those pens are now worth a fortune, especially because you had them together. But what I got to telling him was, and this is where the gen genesis of the idea came from, was I said to him, if you add glitter or glow, or you make it a removable piece and made the mask removable, that, my friend, would be a, a game changer. And he said to me, that's an interesting idea. That would be a whole new mold because it would essentially be a whole new pin, which is what this is. So this is not even a variant. This is a variant... Uh, pin series not even a variant pin but it's a whole variant pin series i could see this happening with other characters remove movable pieces if you feel me but he got to talking about it did a little research did a little work on it asked his man you right and i'm gonna leave the chat room for a minute real quick what's up download pins mo sick pins gotham goddess goaty All right, so I'm going to leave the chat room for just a moment, and I'm going to show you something that he eventually sent me. He was like, yo, bro, I think I'm going to go with that idea you said. What do you think about this shit? And I said, hmm, let me look. And he said, bro. And I said, bro. He said, how do I do this? And I was like, well, you're gonna have to have magnets, like the Rolling Death Maui top pins and the Rolling Death Maui, um, uh, uh, can't believe it's not butter top, you know? And it's gonna have to be really secure. Either you're gonna have to do magnets with it on three pieces or a whole outlining of the mask with a whole outlining on the interior uh, other portion of the pin the base portion of the pen, you're gonna have to have outlining around the whole mask. Let's pull it out now. But, so I, I explained to him how I thought that when you do this, it could either, it could do two, two things. You could have the magnets, like they are here on the back. One should have been here or here, and we both agreed with that after this got produced, that there could have been a magnet here or here. But my idea was to have this whole thing outlined in a magnet. Just a magnet, a big magnet rod on the back of this, right? And then to have spaces around this that were magnetized behind the enamel. 
like it is right now, right? So that then that way the whole thing would be very secure. Or you take it and you have, see how it has these strings here? See how the strings exist on the mask, right? Because he was wearing it as a mask. I told him he could either do that and put strings on it and have it still draped with little wire strings that it could, could fall, right? So that's still a possible variant you could see in the future is a mask with strings on it that you could take it off and it'll fall down. Like it could snap in there, but it could also hang and dangle with little like metallic um, wire. You know what I mean? Or there's also still the option of this pin to slide. This pin could be a slider as well. Not forward so much, but backwards or down. Like it could slide in, slide down like this. Like it operate on a wheel like that. And slide up and snap in. So there is so much potential room for the variant series of this pin. You guys, this sold out really quickly. And you know, Jacob and I were very shocked, but not surprised really. Just kind of just like, wow, I can't believe it happened that fast, honestly. You know, you guys are crazy though. I could barely wake up that morning to see the damage done. Look at the detail in this. Beautiful and soft enamel indeed. Sold out in four hours, my goodness. Look at this, this thing is marvelous. It's got the same A plus backing card here that he had on the first run of this pin. Except it's pin wizard styly. Got that stamp on there. What's up, Mad Dream? So he put it to print. This was in July, mid July. And thus, you know, you all know the rest of the story after that. It got made, and all along the way, we were talking about it, and. He just kind of dropped it real quick that week, two weeks ago or whatever, on me. And I was like, dude, let's just see what happens. Let's not say a word. Let's just see how people react and boom. <laughs> there it is. Obviously I pulled out his Batman, Death of Batman. Reminder about San Diego. I know it's, a, it's two weeks away now. So you, you're gonna wanna be uh, reserving your time during the day. I'm gonna start revealing the schedule for that starting s tomorrow on the SD Pen and Patch Show account. Um, so check that out if you want to know what the haps is and what we're gonna be doing. In game Batman, that's right. In game Batman, my bad. Sorry, I'm a little stunned. Um, but yeah, I mean. It was just really cool to be able to watch its inception during our dialogue come to fruition in a schematic and a proof and then know, know it was going to be made and just waiting for that time and all during that time, all the other things that have occurred during that time for its time to release to occur now is kind of wild for it to come to fruition I just think. Um, so thank you guys for the response on the pen. Jacob is like overwhelmed, I'm sure, by the fact that his pens keep selling out. And um, what can I say? He's a rising young talent, and he's he's only got so much more ahead of him. So he says, might start thinking about a variant of this. Maybe. What do you guys think? July. Wow. Yeah, July. Yeah, magnets is where it's at for soft enamel accessories, pin studio, I agree. I'm glad I, I, I was able to pick one up also. Thank you again, Jacob, for uh, allowing me to be the vessel for which to sail your amazing art. Man, look forward to more of it. Um, and thank you guys for joining this special stream. Yeah, the dangly string idea thing could be interesting, right, dude? I mean, I just think it's a neat, interesting one. I could dangle, you know? Ask uh, Will at Elko Lives about his, he's got a, a fiery from the labyrinth, but it's got a chain. See, I see more of like, like razor, like razor thin, like, um, 
fishing wire that's metallic, you know, like that, like that choker wire that you use to choke someone out, but really, t really, really thin, like really thin, you know? Oh yeah, uh, bummer days. My bad, bummer days. Um, so yeah, so this week also coming up, um, tomorrow should be a regular stream. We got giveaway and uh, other items happening on Tuesday. Reveal on Wednesday. We got a brand new reveal and release on Wednesday. So I'm not going to tell you who, I'm not going to tell you what, but you know what Wednesdays are. So think about that. Thursday, not going to tell you yet. Friday, not going to tell you yet. So there you, there you go. That's what's up. What's up, Shifty? Would it look tacky? I think that I would hope that if it dangled right, it would look great. It would look like it's supposed to, like the strings are hanging around his neck. I mean, I'd almost be more inclined to do that slider variant now. Slide it out, slide it in, slide it out, slide it in. I don't like the flip face, I don't like that. I like it sliding, or I like it dangling. Like you can unclip it and it just hangs there like this. Like there's little little stringy strings that like can let it hang there like that. Two, just be two little solid ones right on the corners of these guys where these are. And it would hang right there. Yeah. Keep the strings on the bottom. Gotham Goddess says she's seeing some beautiful silver wires in the craft store. Oh, a pin that changed color with water. Keep the strings only on the bottom part so it dangles. That would be cool because I can keep the mold. Yes, exactly. That's interesting. I doubt I'll ever wear this pin out with the mask on. <laughs> I doubt that. Because I just don't want to fear losing it. it changes with heat. The uh, color changing, I see. Um, yeah. Glow in the dark mask. Yeah, I leave the mask on the fridge. Definitely. Definitely. It is it's a great pen. So thanks, you guys, for joining. There's not much more to say. Um, thanks again, Jacob, for joining me at this time. Have a good day tomorrow, a good evening tonight, and I'll see you all tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. All right, peace, love, and yarg. Thanks again. See you, fam.